How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Before we go any farther, pause the video and like the video. It's really gonna help out the algorithm and it, I really appreciate it a lot. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. But today is gonna be a special episode because as you guys know, I've been living out here in Green Bay, Wisconsin for the last four weeks or so and unfortunately the bay has been frozen so we've just been fishing the fox river i get it you guys are getting pretty sick of those videos i'm getting sick of filming those videos but check it out we finally made it on the bay okay the ice just came off and we're gonna do a little bit of fishing for some giant and i mean giant green bay walleyes and it's kind of funny because we got out here this morning i'm with my buddy nick in his boat as you can see he's back there his channel will be linked down below as well but we got out here this morning and this trolling motor stopped working and we we're kind of down in the dumps and we're like okay let's just fish for fun and if we catch something like it'll be a miracle well we started doing these drifts um we'd start like in about i don't know like seven feet of water and drift out to like 14 feet of water and we started catching some fish and I'll pop some pictures up right now of what we caught. Okay, so far I think Nick's probably caught about five fish. I've only caught two, but I caught a 27 and a half, a freaking big one so far. And I caught a, like a fat, really fat 24 incher. So they're chewing right now, okay? Now I'm finally bringing out the camera and I wanna show you guys how we're doing this and how we're catching these fish today. So without further ado, we're gonna drive back up to our spot and make a drift here. You guys stay tuned, it's gonna get juicy. All right, so we just made it to the beginning of our drift. And we're actually starting a little deeper this time. We're starting in 13.8 feet of water. If you guys are curious what the temperature is, it is 32.19. Okay, so it's still pretty cold out here. Absolutely freezing. Also, we got the Bass Boys over there. Jacob Sweary and Dustin are fishing just over yonder. So we got a group of guys out here. But all we're doing, guys, is finding a group of fish on the side scan. This thing right here, this is gonna be super helpful. Uh, we're gonna look on both sides while we're drifting to see where the pods of school are. And they'll look like little rice grains, kind of like that one right here, if you guys can see that. That's maybe a fish. But once we see those, we'll cast to that side of the boat and let our baits go right through it. Now you guys may be wondering what we're using today. Well, let me show you really quick. So today I'm using my Guggen Squad Gold Series rod. It's a seven foot finesse rod, spinning. It's really nice. I got, I believe, 20 pound braid on there. And then I tied a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, which you definitely need a fluorocarbon leader because the water's so clear up here. The bait of choice today is gonna be this guy right here. It's a Guggen Squad clutch that I custom painted myself to look like a goby. And I even glued a different eye in there. So I got a little silver eye and then I painted it brown and put some little black dots in there. My friend actually did this, Ryan, so shout out to Ryan for making me some custom baits, kind of. But yeah, if you wanna check out the Guggen Squad Clutch and do exactly what I did, it'll be linked down below. Make sure you use code MINDAC to save 10% off your order, and you can even pick yourself up a rod. Now there's nothing left to be said, then let's start fishing. I'm gonna have the back angle for a little bit on the GoPro, and then later on in the day, I might switch to the chesty. So you get multiple angles, but let's get after it. All right guys, so all I'm doing is I'm taking my little rod here and making a long cast behind us. Then you're gonna let your bait sink down to the bottom. And once that happens, all you're doing is little pops. You just wanna move that bait roughly about half an inch, nothing too crazy, no like giant freaking rips like you do in the summer sometimes, just little pops, reel down pause, vary your pauses, it depends on what the fish want that day, and then just keep repeating. So that's all we're doing today, nothing too crazy, and it's gorgeous, and I'm loving it. Jeepers. Oh yeah. There's one. That boy. You were marking a couple on that side too. Yeah. How does it feel? It doesn't feel crazy, but you know, little, definitely a smaller one. It's definitely fighting pretty nice though. Not bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you. Thanks, brother. You T-bone it. Uh, oh, he munched. That is a little better than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Well, guys, check out this beautiful fish. This is about average, probably like a 23 inch fish. Um, very gold, as you can tell. Hopefully you can tell, I don't know how the, the sun is, but a very, very gold fish. Very beautiful specimen. And yeah, this is turning out to be a hell of a day. I mean, the sun finally came out for once and we'll take them like that. It is, just the sun is not my favor for the, for the bra. Oh my God, is that the tide wee guy? Oh, dude, Nick, I felt him eat that. That was so dope, dude. That was so dope. I literally was sitting there talking to my buddy and all of a sudden, I just feel a chomp chomp. I got to reel down and set the hook. And now we are at where we are right now. That was so cool. Yeah, yeah, I could use a net. Net would be awesome, brother. That is so cool. Nick and I literally just marked the fish and I casted right to them, Nick. I casted past them to bring my bait towards them. Oh yeah, I actually got the set. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, look, he's jumping. Very, oh my oh god. Oh my god, that guy engulfed it. <laughs> that one was Whoa. not getting off. I don't think that one was going to get off, Nick. Jeepers, creepers. Another gorgeous fish. This is beginning to be a lot of fun. I wish I would have gotten my really big one on camera, but that just means I'm going to have to catch a bigger one, right, Nick? hours later alrighty guys well it's been uh, probably about an hour or so we haven't really caught any fish I actually hopped over to my other buddy's boat because Brandon came and he hopped in with Nick so we're back in the sexual nitro with Sweary and Dustin what up fellers Howdy. and digger what up dig man how's it going yep so we're back in the nitro gonna do some fishing for the remaining of the night we probably got about eh, two hours left of fishing Hopefully we can get it done. These boys know how to catch fish, so I'm assuming you will see something happen. Oh my God, smoker. That was freaking sick. Tossed out there, and my first hop, I just felt the chomp and I got to set the hook. That's happened to me like three times today, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I just love it when you can set the hook. Most of the times too with these, you just pick up and there's a fish. May I have a net please? That's yeah, not that big. You want a net for that? <laughs> nice shell. There we go. First fish back in the nitro. What a beauty. A little smaller one than normal, but still very thick, thick. I shall flex on Instagram though. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful sunset, boys. Oh, you're not talking about me? 
Well guys, it is the evening now and it turns out this evening bite wasn't as hot as I thought it was gonna be. This morning was the best time, unfortunately. I really didn't film this morning. I kind of had low hopes, ended up catching uh, some big ones off camera with Nick, but you know, that's how it goes. So we're not gonna end the video here. Uh, I'd feel bad. I mean, I didn't catch that many in this video, I don't think. So I'm just gonna carry this in tomorrow and I'll plan on seeing you guys bright and early tomorrow morning or whenever we decide to fish tomorrow. Good night. 24 hours later. Did you say dam? The Fox River Dam. I love the Green Bay of Green Bay. You almost said it. Well guys, it is the next day and it's the afternoon. Okay, we slept in, did some grocery shopping, had to take care of some things. I'm staying at Sweetie's place now. Um, but we're gonna out here to gonna do some fishing and try to finish up this video. No clue how the fishing is going to be. It looks a little bit dirtier water than we would like, and it has been raining off and on all day. So who knows? But I'm gonna strap up the GoPro and get going. And I don't, if you guys haven't seen Sweary set up before, let me show you guys real quick. So my boy Jay Sweary likes to flex up. All right, he's got the nice old nitro, as you guys can see. Nice little Merc motor. He's got the Raptors to keep us in place. He's got a Humminbird graph here, a Garmin graph, and then up here he also has a 360 and just another graph right there. And then he puts his Garmin live scope right there. So Sweary is a big flexor and can't forget the Altrex. So we're basically gonna pretty much do the same thing we did yesterday, um, scanning wise, which I might film a little bit of that. It's kind of starting to drizzle a little bit, but we're gonna scan around, look for some walleyes. And then one thing that we're gonna do different today that Swear has on his boat that Nick didn't have, well, Nick didn't have a lot of these things, but the Raptors is gonna be huge because we can just put down right away once we start marking stuff. But he's got this thing called a Mega 360, which uh, is very helpful when you're walleye fishing. And I'll, I will vlog that at some point, but we're gonna get the boat launched and I'll see you guys out on the water. If you guys like cheating, just get yourself one of these things. They tell you exactly where the fish are, waypoints and everything. You excited for it today? Not really. All aboard the nitro. <sighs> Let me see that tooth, tooth update, tooth update. Everybody's very curious about it. Very good, very good. We're on them. I just stopped. I, you could say there's a couple down there. Yep, there are a couple of fish. We don't know if they're walleyes, but. Oh no, they're all walleyes. Oh, Sweetie so says they're all walleyes. Yeah. So we just made a run, and as you guys can see, there is a crap ton of walleyes on the side scan there, which I showed you a little bit about yesterday. And a little bit, I'm gonna have Jacob kind of show you the 360. That's, that's the cool thing, right Jacob? Oh yeah, that's what gets us on them. Oh yeah, so we're gonna see uh, what that looks like in a second but we made the run here dustin how was the run was it cold no it's pretty nice out today honestly i just do this so my hat doesn't fall off true all right so we step up to jacob's little pedestal here he's big flexing all right number one he's got baits ready to go just in case i want a different color number two three graphs he's got his graphy one up there this is the mega that i was telling you guys about right here the 360 by humminbird and uh, i'm not really seeing any fish on there at the moment maybe a couple but that's us right there it's like live updating um you know as this goes by it and when we look over here this is the perspective mode on the garmin and over here there are a couple fish no, it's kind of hard for you guys to see because I'm filming on the GoPro. That's a fish right there. But having all of this is super key. So essentially what we're doing is we're just driving around, graphing on the side scan, as you guys saw. And we whip around, get over the top of those fish again, and then we fine tune it where it throws down the trolling motor. We get closer to them within casting distance. Make sure we're seeing them on the 360. Make sure we're seeing them on the live scope as well. And then we just make precision casts at them because we're pros.
Oh, right by the boat, Jacob. Good. Picked her up off the bottom. It's jumping like a bass, brother. Oh, I am hooked now. I am hooked and I have a fish <laughs> on my pantalones. Hey, that's, that's nice. Dude. Hey, you got some pliers, I'm brother? Just, uh, help you out here. There's my fish, see ya. And I am currently off, hooked right now. Oh, good. There you go, buddy. Thanks, brother. Well, that was interesting. Here's my first fish of the day. We're just driving around in the 360, as you guys seen, and sharp shooting some whale eyes today. Do you like it more rips? Oh, sheepers, creepers. All right, well, Jacob just caught one. And now, Chaboy John is on. That is pretty lit. As you can tell, there may be a couple boats here. Just a couple. I'm trying to keep it a little hush hush. There we go, boys. Another gorgeous spring walleye. Can't complain. Hey, buddy. Hey, you been the boy. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? He's a good boy. Ten hours later, I finally caught a fish and it's jumping like a bass. Look at that thing. Oh, look. Hope we shall get prepared for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. my drag keeps slipping when I try to do that. Come on. That's a shame. You're not a bass fisherman. Look at that fatty. Well, it's been a while since I've caught one, but I finally managed to get one to eat. Still using that custom little Guggen Squad clutch that I painted. Jacob has been putting on a show though. That man is cracked today. I was telling him that he's probably going to be MVF. To oh, yep, yep, look. Look, MVF is hooked up again. And for those of you that don't know what MVF is, most valuable fisherman. You got it, brother. Let me see if you can land it though. Let's see it. Let's see it, brother. Yes, I do. Dude. Boat flipped a hand. <laughs> yep. MVF is cracked. Much, much later. Hey, John. That one's hot. Oh, I got one for you. <clears throat> Just a baby. Well, guys, it's a little bit later and the bite, bite died down. down. We decided to leave and come back to Swiggy's Airbnb. Check it out. Y'all maybe remember this from last year, but this is pretty much it. That's where I've been sleeping right there. Got the little gaming center right there. Edda Jibinin station, the digger land. And then this is just like little like kitchen, fridge, Keir rig got all the goodies but that is where we're gonna end today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys learned something i tried to do a little more explaining didn't do the best job of filming it um i haven't had my tripod for the last couple days otherwise you guys would have seen more footage off this camera but i think you guys get the general idea on how to catch spring walleyes if you have any questions drop a comment down below and i'll try answering them 
or go over to Swiggy's channel, probably just watch one of his videos. He's a freaking god at uh, all this kind of stuff. So he can let you guys know what the big tips are. But I'm here for a couple more days. Hopefully we can make it happen. We're actually getting ready to film a little night video for you guys. Um, but other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.